discover a world of magic and steam technology. An alternate London where mythical creatures coexist with humans. Explore the city's east end and get to know its inhabitants. There are powerful figures here with enough wealth and station to bend the city to their will. But be careful. The Dauntlands aren't for the faint of heart. I love the dirigibles, like they brought this incredible Edwardian uh, steampunk look and feel to the fore here. So we are going to continue onward. Um, we're playing Clara, Clara, Clara right now. Um, she's an incredible character and she's bringing a lot to the table as far as insider knowledge. Uh, so you recently decided the best thing for your continued good health is to leave London town. That's kind of what we're going for. We gotta get a different identity and we have to get out of here. So, she's going back to her roots um, from when she first got here as a more petty criminal and trying to find um, Green Street, uh, this vendor of identities. Kind of fell through on her. Um, he raised his prices, she didn't know if she can do it. The Palladium, a low-lit house of shiny gilt and red leather luxury, hosts to every manner of folks and furnishing, fortified paupers and snaring lords, gambling tables and a stage of exclusive front row seating. So this is where you perform. You're a singer as well as, you know, a uh, you know, lady of many talents. The in inimitable lefty drunk gambler thief and some class act. All at the same time. How have you been? I haven't seen your name in the papers. Every time some bloody fishwife loses her bridal ring, it gets blamed on New London's premier jewel fee, which is great for Cajun drinks on a Saturday night. Not so great when you're dealing with the law. Then sniffing around the court of some case for personal interest. It could be either Jimmy or Beast, from what I've heard. Tangled with something similar in Prague, you can. Wouldn't have been mid. Oh, she would have been victim number four if she got one sleeping with one eye open. Oh, the very unpleasant fellow, a lot of pile of coin, and I was expecting trouble. What happened? This particular scoundrel favored morning night for a zombie. I twigged his shadow, passed the little lamp, and left guttering, rolled off the kit before he could slash me open. He got away. Ugh, oh, yeah. I skipped out over the balcony, second floor. No problem for yours truly. He hadn't a brass to follow. What encounter was close to joke about? Was the killer captured? So she's she's seen the court of St. Killer now. Oh, I can say it to nay by me. Popped a tramp steamer that very night. Think you'd like to pitch in and help me nab this maniac? We wait for Scotland here. There won't be a one dinner safe from here. Braxton County. And that day, my dear, that one time was close as I ever wanted to get to be in London. Best of luck, though. Love to see your name in headlines for that. Worth a try, but love is not. You want to get mixed up in trouble, she didn't start herself. So you've been laying low? Let's just say I've been dressing up a little narrow when I go out. Lydium is quite popular. It doesn't seem smart to show your face around here. Maybe, maybe not. Still got to make my living. About to go up on Palladiums, become a haven for tourists and posers. Have you had your hand in anything illegitimate lately? I got my look. Lefty glances left and right. I may have perused the contents of a certain banker's home, St. John's Wood, to be in under your wraps. Passive as ever, Miss Brown. What's your trade then? You and Beatrix still button heads over the title of finest Dolly Mock novel London. Hardly call it a contest, at least which when poor bees fall so far behind. Meow! I suppose you've got a few years left to catch up. See you later, Lofty. Let's go see what the world has for us, friend. So we have Biothrope, we gotta meet the Ladsmen in Sora Square. We're investigating the recent murders. We have a fan collection, which is kind of cool. And Fetch Beatrix's uh, pill. So, um, the owner of the place in the dam. 
find out that uh, one of the girls is short her pills. They like to waste time so she gave us a script to go on down to the pharmacist. Success is a science if you have the conditions to get the results. Oscar Wilde. Oh, and we're switching to Teddy Red. Okay, so we're in chapter three. We switch over to Teddy Redgrave. You play all three characters, and I'm waiting for them to meet up. I don't know if they will. Be back the terrors of East London is Teddy Redgrave. Whether it's a fiendish critter or an idea for a mechanical contraption. Battle scarred by his military service, Teddy's gained an appreciation for getting his hands dirty. Losing limbs hardly robbed Teddy of his true mind and senses. Or ever the engineer, Teddy sees people, places, and happenings like machines. So we can pick out our starting attributes, and which major arcana will dictate, um, you know, our luck. So you're picking out your chance off of, you know, what suited tarot you're playing. And then also where you're going to go with conversations. I'm going to choose one that will close off some conversational options, but it'll give me a lot of luck. Your Teddy Redgrave, monster hunter extraordinaire, with the humble four walls inside an old clock tower. The furnishings are sparse in your dusty home workshop, with more priority given to machine efficiency than creature comforts. Mechanical odds and ends litter the floor like a second skin that will never get properly buffed. So we get to work with some of these automatons that we've seen on the streets here. It's the old bucket of brass, my pride and joy. Check. Oh wow, I wonder what would have happened if I hadn't. Like, would Otto not come with me? Top of the morning and good day, Mr. Teddy. Where are we off to? Why, Elvis's hoary beard was setting out for a special treat, dear Otto. Really well, I'd be more than happy to immortalize it with an ambrotype. We can get my vision upgraded, that is. Make sure. Last, I knew I forgot something. All right, let's get you patched up. First, I'll need some spare parts. Probably not on the stove, Tom. Who knows? <laughs> Here's the cast iron battleground where many a shepherd's pie is triumph to look for that father's neck hunger. Last time I had a brace and some tarnished hands. Can't look at myself in the mirror. That is a dwarf in tip top shape. Every grommet accounted for a working order. A stick and span cool like me needs a loyal sidekick. So I thought, why shouldn't I make my own? My intuition tells me that I should probably gear as good as a tip top fellow as well. I should think about setting some time aside to clean. Right? If I were a spare part, where would I be? I see something a little more to your right. Good thing I did such a fine job tuning your optics. So there's a crafting aspect here. Pneumatic mail tube, fascinating contraption. This one that outlet of a system with pressurized tubes that delivers messages. I thought I heard a funk earlier. Core looks like another jump missive. In a heart's charity, general reader, most alarming situation has arisen or Arsenal engines in an endless number of factory spaces threatening the residents east of end. The call of the tenements go about huge from keep the months grows colder, hopefully your heart is not. Keep an open mind, support a Christian brother. Hunter's right. Good tidings to you. It's a letter from Bigsby, I recognize a scrawl. A special job kind of cantankerous old dwarf written all over it. Something's running around upsetting his farmers in the sewers. If it's a particularly terrifying team rat, the sewers basically are an enormous machine, so if you head like you should feel right at home. Under the jester, did you and Redbeard ever get asserted that she was a pirate and which is a tinker? It's like a fair job, but I put the key. Here it is, for the warehouse down in Beggar's Lane, it'll take you to the sewers. Better make sure the trouble hasn't already spread, you know, know that the monsters. Here's Theodore Redgrave, we had our small engines of some of the needs of common men. You're getting evicted, oh no, for the expansion of our industrial empire. They keep by January 1st, we move forcibly. Someone's finally picked up Waylon's clock tower. This place is perfect for me and Otto. So we get a job and some bad news all in one. Just absolutely it. Let's see, we have an old escape machine, carrot clocks, and hopefully lots of patients. Alright, Otto, come over here, it won't take too long. Please let you know the installation went smoothly. My vision for making images in low light is improved. 
We're low on silver nitrate, so let's not make too many exposures till we get some more. Nope, taken. Anything else you'd like me to keep in mind? Yes, let's keep a sharp lookout for any spare parts while roaming about running one man's trash is another man's treasure. God, this really is a pretty place for him and his automaton. It's terrible. It's going to fall victim to expansion. been down Red Lantern Lane um, as Clara. Not even the sunlight can lift the Paula Despair in Beggar's Lane where so many wager their pay up at the Palladium, only to be thrown out on the cobbles penniless. The building casts a long shadow into the reeking streets full of gritty waste and newspapers flapping the gutters. So that's where we left Clara Reed and we have to go down here to get into the warehouse. Um, so we can skip past, we went down Red Lantern Lane as Clara, and we can kind of skip past that, um, because we can um, talk to the laundress and so on that she did, but she doesn't have the same, like, she doesn't know us. Clara is a fixture in the city, so she can just sit there and chat with people, but Teddy is a worker, so it kind of brings something else to the table. Julian, Bertram, O'Brien, Orphan's Mystery, and Sacred Heart, or Orphanage, Small Reward, because I know very well from They're having a werewolf problem. So they're trying to get them, you know, inside military grade close to barbed wire. Bakker's beard is bolts are ferocious. So you can find a uh, discarded treasure or hunting rats for the rat catcher in the terrors of the deep, which is our hunter's contract. And Claire went through here as well, but there wasn't really as much for her. She's not a worker. It's a perfect fit. I love the symbol. Which is a complex one. Time for the hunt auto. Affirmative. They have this really great cable system that runs above it. The foot of the stairs are greeted by the small musty crates. Oil lamps propped up on barrels against the wall. Beating back the shadows and what little way they can. Trying to move along. Our last few installments have been like 55 minutes long. Which is fine. Identity 
arrow function firing the boiler. I like this one very much. Arrow report. Boiler operating with the normal parameters. Battery 78%. Addendum. Slight pressure loss in the HD suboptimally. Or the group elsewhere in the system. Aren't you a little thing? New automaton greetings. New automaton identity. Huh. I didn't know there was a punch card for flirting. Come along, Otto. This one. London's sprawling sewer network is a dank of maze of rushing water, choking gases, and crumbling brick and slimy surface. All very far from daylight or a friendly face, Delphi shapes lurk in the dark to so keep a close grip on your blunders, boss. Despite or because of its dangers, the labyrinth seems vast. Hollywood speaking. Oh, how cute. This little scamp that we wants to play. Let's see if we can capture that. I'll make a great pet for somebody. Going to a better home, friend. Better home. So we're going to go crawling around in the sewers looking for a monster. So different from, you know, someone who's like diddling the upper class and trying to leave the city. Or we started out as a minotaur down on his luck and someone had a job for him. They wanted him to remember his past with the sisters of the Sacred Heart Orphanage. But all all that we you know got into was the spirit quest that kind of opened us to those memories. Oh, who goes there, Mr. Archie Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? A ghost patrol captain. See for yourself two of our engineers are missing. I had to lock the pump house down and no one in or out for three days. Our luck is held so far, but if one of these machines in there should malfunction. You're certain the creatures in the pump house me and Otto need to get there close to these. They're great. Here, you'll need this key. Godspeed, Mr. Redgrave. Cool! So link in the description below. I'll sit down with Gamer Grind. Gamer call to ship to your door and open your local merch for like nothing bucks. This reminds me of things I saw in Jeep. Liquor locker, big common in these places. I'll sit on there as coffee. KO5, I just should be popular now. I make me smile. You can support us on Patreon. If you have a game you want us to succeed, um, we can certainly work with game devs. We can, um, you know, ask some questions if you have questions to be asked. If you just like supporting the indie community in general, we do a ton of pro bono work for them. Um, so we'd love being a part of that. Definitely hit subscribe. If you hit subscribe and the bell, then, you know, pop up a little thumbnail. Kind of let you know what's going on and if you want to spend some time with us. We love you guys. We love that you're always along for the ride and we'll see you in the next video.